welcome to the Philips IntelliView Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will walk you through the basic operation of the X3 multi-measurement module. Let's get started. The IntelliView X3 is a versatile patient monitoring device. It can simultaneously monitor ECG, respiration, SpO2, NBP, two invasive pressures, temperature and CO2. The X3 can be used in two ways, as a standalone patient monitor or as a multi-measurement module for the IntelliView family of patient monitors. When connected to a host monitor, the X3 takes power from the host and meanwhile it charges its battery. The host monitor controls the connected X3. There are no alarms available on the X3 and the alarm lamps are controlled by the host too. When the X3 is connected to a host monitor, you will recognize that the screen on the X3 displays a blue bar containing the text Companion Mode and no alarm display. You can also use the X3 as standalone monitor or as a portable monitor. In standalone mode, you can run the monitor from the rechargeable battery, or you can use a docking solution like the IntelliView dock or the external power supply. The measurement capabilities of the X3 can be extended using measurement extensions. The X3 is particularly suited for transport situations. When the X3 is disconnected from the original host monitor, it continues to monitor the patient as standalone monitor. When the X3 is connected to a new host monitor, it resumes its role as multi-measurement module. It can upload trend data, patient demographic information and measurement settings, allowing for full continuous monitoring. Let's take a closer look at the screen. The screen is made up of different areas. This is the monitor information line, displaying amongst other things the patient name. The status area shows active alarm messages, or the alarms off symbol when all alarms are switched off. The measurement area displays the clinical measurement values, waveforms, trends and clinical applications. And these are screen keys. This key is to acknowledge alarms. This is the main screen key and this is the key to access all smart keys. Smart keys give you fast access to functions. Now that you know the different screen areas, it is time that you discover how you can operate on the screen. While that is simple, it's a touch screen. What you see is what you get. Directly select the screen element you need. Use swiping to scroll through a menu. To select an item from a list or to select a key, tap on it with your finger. To close the menu, use the X on the top right corner of the window or the screen key. Here you now see the SPO2 setup menu. In the menu, you can swipe down and up. I want to adjust the lower alarm limit to 88 and the threshold for the desaturation alarm to 82. I've now selected the new alarm limits and I can close the menu. There is no need for an additional confirmation. If you want to learn more about alarms in our IntelliView patient monitors, watch our micro-learning about understanding alarms. And now let me tell you a bit more about smart keys. They give you fast access to functions, remember. The selection of smart keys available on your monitor depends on your monitor configuration. Here are some examples of common smart keys. To start or to stop a non-invasive blood pressure measurement. Zero an invasive pressure. View trends. Put the monitor in standby mode. 
the main setup key gives you access to all menus and functions in the monitor. That's quite a lot to scroll and select, but the functions you need most are ordered at the top of the list. Take for example measurements. You probably need this one a lot. Under measurements, you will find all the clinical measurements. For example, here is the SpO2. Well, isn't that the exact same menu I showed you before? There are also different screens in your monitor. You can easily switch to another screen layout, swiping two fingers across the screen to pull it to the right or the left and display the next screen. When you rotate the monitor from a horizontal to a vertical position, or back again, it will adapt to the new position and show its corresponding screen. That is convenient for mounting the X3 to whatever position you want. There are a few rules, like you cannot position the X3 with a handle pointing down. And you can also set up the monitor not to rotate the screen automatically. But you'll figure that out quickly. Finally, a few words about the touchscreen. You can lock the touchscreen if you want to temporarily disable touch operation of the monitor. Touch and hold the screen key. And now a padlock symbol appears on the key. To unlock, touch the key again. Or select the screen key and then select the lock touch pop-up key. If the touchscreen detects an operating problem, like for example, there is fluid spilled on the screen or something unexpectedly contacts the screen, it will be automatically locked to prevent accidental operation. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other microlearning videos too. Thank you for watching.